National Unity Platform makes 10 million shillings contribution to Mumbara's homecoming fate. Welcome to the Angels News Podcast. The National Unity Platform, NUP, Party Sunday handed over SHS 10 million to Runjururu Kingdom officials organizing the highly anticipated homecoming fate for Runjururu King, Charles Wesley Mumbara. The opposition party's contribution to the October 4, 2023 fate was in fulfillment of a pledge made by NUP principal, Mr. Robert Kyagulanyi on August 30 while in Kasisi during his national mobilization tour. Local leaders in Kasisi had appealed to Mr. Kyagulanyi for support towards the event during his visit in the area. I know that you are raising funds to facilitate the King's homecoming. I have also asked all NUP MPs to support this cause and raise not less than 10 million shillings for the same. I will also add my contribution to that as a sign of solidarity with you, our people, Mr. Kyagulanyi stated at the time. NUP Secretary General, David Louis Rubangoya on Sunday handed over SHS 10 million to the Runjururu Kingdom Secretariat, which is currently operating from Shiloh Hotel in Kasisi Town following the destruction of the palace during a UPDF raid on November 26, 2016. Mr. Rubangoya said the contribution underlines NUP's commitment to appreciating cultural diversity and fulfilling its promises to the community. When the NUP President was here last time, the leaders presented the need to support the OM using his homecoming and other projects. He, Kyagulanyi, pledged that NUP would make a contribution, and I am here to deliver our initial contribution of SHS 10 million. I hope this is evidence that NUP stands firmly in solidarity with the people of Runjururu, he said. Mr. Rubangoya also highlighted the need for justice for the more than 150 individuals who lost their lives during the palace raid. We understand the trials and tribulations that the king and his subjects have gone through for the last seven years. We appreciate the sorrows and pain that the people have gone through. NUP continues to condemn the humiliation of the king and also demands justice for the so many lives that were lost, Rubangoya added. Ms. Gloria Masika, who represented the Runjururu Kingdom Secretariat said raising the required SHS 9 billion for the homecoming fate and the related activities has been challenging for the officials. If there was any other way to acquire this money, we wouldn't have run a fundraiser. However, this is the only way, and yet our collections are still low. We appreciate this SHS 10 million from NUP. I'm appealing to all other institutions, including DP, NRM and FDC, to also come and support us because SHS 9 billion is not a small amount. Let us remember that we are Banyuwen Zururu first before we become associates of political parties, Masika observed. In a later conversation with this publication, Runjururu Kingdom Prime Minister, Mr. Joseph Kool Maranga said despite running the fundraiser for two months, they have only collected a fraction of the required sum. As OBR, Runjururu Kingdom, we thank NUP for supporting us. We have written to other political parties to also support us but they're yet to respond. We hope that they respond to us too since time is running out, Mr. Maranga said. After about seven-year absence from his kingdom, Amusing Amumbara, in July appointed a committee of 60 people to organize his homecoming after the DPP dropped charges against him. The kingdom is currently running a campaign to raise SHS 9 billion to acquire Springs International Hotel as a new palace, finance the coronation anniversary scheduled for October 19, and facilitate the return of the king. Mumbara had been separated from his kingdom since November 27, 2016, when he was arrested following a raid by security operatives on his Buikira Royal Palace in Kasisi Town. The attack led by Brig Peter Elwelyu, who was at the time Uganda People's Defense Forces, UPDF, 2nd Division Commander, left more than 150 people dead, with over 200 others, including Mumbara, facing various charges, including murder, arson, treason and terrorism. Now, with October 4 set as the date for his return to the kingdom, the Runjururu Kingdom is striving to make this homecoming a memorable and successful event. Your reactions are welcome in the comments section below.